everyone, it's Holly from Sun Sprinkles, and today I'm going to be showing you a marbling technique for polymer and clay. Just like tie-dye or anything of that nature, every single marbling you do is going to be different. They're all going to be unique. Even if you use the same method that I do, you're going to get different results. But essentially, you're going to pick your color scheme and just roll out little logs of clay and kind of arrange them so the colors are in some sort of pattern or they're just varied in some way. And you can see they're not totally perfect in their thickness. You can use an extruder for these little logs, but you don't have to. And you can make them different widths as well. They don't all have to be the same width. But once you're happy with your arrangement, you're just going to grab them all like this. I put a few little poppy seeds in mine just to give it kind of a speckled effect. I'm just kind of experimenting with that. So you kind of just roll them a little bit so they stay together, and then you can start twisting. So the first step, of course, is going to be getting a nice twist like this. And once you're happy with your twist, you're just going to start reducing that clay. So you roll it through your hands like that and that's going to elongate that roll of clay, make it thinner, and keep twisting it until you like it. And I kind of fold it in half here. Now that's the key step here that gives my marbling a bit of a different look. You see a lot more of that variation and differences in color when you do this step. And I do it several times here. Um, it gets that clay really just marbled. It gives it lots of really cool variations. And so you always just are twisting, reducing, folding, twisting, reducing, folding. Um, and you can kind of see how the clay is starting to mix just a little bit. Of course, you don't want it overmixed, but you don't want it undermixed. Um, so you just do it a handful of times. It's really just eyeballing and seeing um, if you're liking the effect that is starting to be produced with your clay here. And we're getting pretty close here. So I'll just do this a little bit more. And when you're happy with it, you just kind of start reducing it again. Um, but this time we're not going to flip it. We're just going to kind of keep twisting it. That way we see all those pretty colors and just keep reducing it even more. So once you kind of have a long coil like this, you're just going to roll it up into a spiral. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of start rolling. And you can kind of twist as you roll if the colors just aren't shining through enough for you. And so you get this little coil spiral. It kind of looks like a lollipop. And I start kind of pressing it and this just helps all those seams stick together since it is one long coil. Um, it helps that coil stick to the next layer of coil. Um, you can see how it's going to create a flat slab. So you can see all those nice pretty colors. Uh, once we run this through the pasta machine, you'll see how all those colors just pop. I'm adding a few more little poppy seeds um, for this experiment. I just want to see how this will look with the speckles. And I'm just kind of pressing them in so they stay put. Just give that a few good more pats. Make sure that it all sticks together. That way it doesn't come apart after you put it in the pasta machine. And we're going to roll this through. And you can do it on a thicker setting and then go to the setting that you actually want to use for earrings. Um, if it is stuck together pretty well, though, you can just run it through just once. Um, so I'm just running it through at the setting I usually use for my earrings. There's no fancy way to do it. You just got to run it right through. Ta-da! And you got some beautiful marbling. You can see how you just get so many different colors interacting with this method. 
you just um, can see so many different veins and little spots where it mixes or it colors butt up against each other. I just think it gives it such an interesting look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Feel free to share your own marbling with me. I'd love to see what you make.